can't talk around Got ourselves a situation Stuck in a new location Without any explanation No time for relaxation Gotta go fast Gotta go fast Too fast Too fast Too fast Too fast Too fast so now he's getting PTSD flashbacks and remembering his bay, and he's like, ah, gotta go save that fucking thought. Love this level. Love the music. Man, it should just be a given. I don't know why I say all oh, the music. It's just a given that if you're a Sonic game, if you're Sonic anything, yeah, grab the eggs. Once again, look at the way he, his model, like, does cool flips and tricks and stuff. When you really get down to it, Sonic is just a character action game. <laughs> it's all about accumulating a score and looking cool while doing it. And the character's all cocky and self-assured, and does cool flips and poses while he's fighting enemies. Fuck you. Sonic game made by Platinum today, please. Man, that'd be awesome. I don't know, like, the, the Chaos Emeralds being that, like, that, like, omni-important object of the franchise is always one of those things where it's like, I always wish we had kind of gotten a better look at those things. So in this game, where, like, there's an explicit model that you can look at during that level with the ball, and you see characters like holding them all the time. Stuff like that was just always really cool to me as a Chad. And of course, that thing where I associated Shadow with Dragon Ball. Obviously, the Chaos Emeralds are a dead ringer for the uh, the Dragon Balls themselves. Fuck you, invisible. It would be really cool to have a 3D Sonic game that went back to the 2D style of do the special stages and collect the emeralds so that you can play as Super Sonic just during the regular levels. Okay, my electric shield is going to present the problem here. Damn it! Fuck! Yeah, that's an unfortunate thing that I feel like they didn't really think about is having the electric shield attract the rings to you, so that really fucks up the light speed dash, unfortunately. Which is really funny, but it is one of those things where it's like, uh-oh, that was the design oversight. And uh, I do appreciate also that, I, I forgot to talk about this with Sonic, they changed the way the light speed dash works. Whereas in Sonic Adventure, you had to hold down the spin dash button in order to charge up the light speed dash. Now it's just the press of a button. You press the button and you do the light speed dash. Oh, there was big. You see him? Like just boom, light speed dash. No preamble. And that flows so much better into the level design. They can really utilize that to just put lines of rings throughout the stages that you can run into and hit the light speed dash and that like rockets you through the Here we go. that like section of the level very very quickly and it's really nifty although it's like the only bad thing about it is you have to unlock it so there were instances where you could have used the light speed dash that wasn't so hard in earlier levels and it's like oh I don't have it yet <laughs> like there's still the like, in Adventure 1, it made sense to unlock these abilities because they were all hidden throughout the hub world. And you would have to do some exploration in the hub world in order to find the upgrades. In this, they're just in the levels that you go through in a linear sequence. I think you're the Once again, Shadow never says faker. You're comparing yourself to me? Haha, you're, you're not even, even good, good enough to be my face. Can't get away this time. There's only one real Sonic. 
Yeah, dude, Shadow never said, yo, I'm Sonic. I feel like you're getting a little bit of Metal Sonic Syndrome with this. I don't know why you're having this hang-up like, oh, you're trying to pretend you're Sonic, huh? Well, I'm the real Sonic. I never said I was Sonic. That was the news. The news called me that. The news said I'm Sonic. I didn't intentionally impersonate you, bro. That was just, like, an unfortunate coincidence. I didn't even know you existed before that initial encounter, dude. Like, chill out, bro. In fact, Shadow is the original Hedgehog. He's 50 years old. Ooh! Oh, no. No time. Shadow's like 50 years older. He's the ultimate light form who was created by Professor Gerald Robotnik. So he runs into Sonic and it's like, who is this fucking guy who thinks he can be like me? Oh, you kind of look like me? You run super fast? Fuck you, Sonic. I'm the original, the ultimate light form. Oh, shit. Okay, bye. Hi, I'm here now. Somehow. Let's roll! Chaos control! And once again, not a teleportation. He froze time and ran back to the rendezvous point with Rouge in the one second before the island exploded. They did not teleport. Arc. <laughs> really fast. Flashback. Like Look at her hair. The professor said his life's work was <coughs> to all the people who live down there. He said <coughs> that the reason for his existence was Ever since I was a kid, Maria's hair texture has freaked me the fuck out. Maria, I just it looks like they just found a picture of someone's hair and just transposed that texture of the picture into the game. It looks so fucking weird. It looks like her hair is a JPEG molded onto the 3D model of her head. Maria. Maria. Why so melancholy? That was so unexpected. So unlike you, Shadow. You don't Come know me. me. Who are you to say that's Your unlike me? Go fuck yourself. Certainly comes in handy. <laughs> no. I didn't come to save you. I wasn't I having a PTSD flashback where I associated yeah, you with yeah. my dead bay. And that's not the whole story, is it? Everything is ready to go. What up, squad? You sure? Squad goals. Only have six of the seven <laughs> I do love this though, because it's like That's more than enough for the demonstration. So, so let's, let's get, get this show on the road. road. Whoa, Shadow, what's your deal? It's almost like you're not motivated by to help me with my plans. It's almost like day X. It's almost like your entire goal. Citizens of Earth, lend me your ears and listen to me very carefully. My name is Dr. Eggman. My name is Dr. Eggman. I thought it was Dr. Robotic. No! Sonic Adventure established. He's called Eggman now. Shut up. Shut up. He's Eggman. Shut the fuck up. He calls himself Eggman now. It's fine. Stop complaining about it. <coughs> It's almost like your goal isn't to help me and my goals. It's almost like your goal is just to cause wanton death and destruction and you're impatient to start making that happen. I do love how it's like Eggman's like, yeah, I got these two minions. I got Shadow and Rouge. They're my, they're my like cronies and they do what I tell them to do. I'm the boss. I'm in charge. Man, that is way too close for comfort. If that is visible from the ground, that is scary close. But Rouge is playing both sides. She just, she's a double agent working with him on behalf of the US government. And Shadow, his only motivation is to cause wanton death and destruction in order to get revenge for Maria. Eh, eh, I'm so upset. Eh. <laughs> well, that was really impressive. You've managed to create complete havoc on the whole planet. Does this now mean we control the planet and can do as we choose? At this rate, the cannon will take too much time to charge up. If you want to unleash its full potential, 
You'll need like he's telling cases. Eggman, yo. Okay, I can't interrupt this. Something happened? Our threats fell on deaf ears. Look at you, throwing a tantrum. Like yeah, I think this head. takes place after totally the scene where Look Sonic jumped into the general. president's limousine. We had a deal, right? So where is my emerald? Here you go. Um, I found. Oh no! You showed me this before. Look at that. That is Tails' model from Sonic Adventure One. Hey, I remember that. Awarded its famed prize to the boy who saved oh. Station Square. Tails. Miles Tails per hour was given the chaos as a testament of his <coughs> deed at a ceremony held at City Hall. <laughs> I guess that that took place after the ending of Sonic Adventure. Like they rebuilt the city and were like, "Yo, Tails, we're gonna honor you with the ceremony. Come over here." Soon enough, Maria. What? Uh, okay then. Bye. This is Rouge reporting. Currently, I have not been able to confirm <coughs> if Shadow is the ultimate life form or not. I, I guess that's her mission. Search on Project Shadow and have a follow-up report very shortly. Just a reminder, don't forget about me. Jewel. So this scene clearly takes place immediately after the scene where Sonic jumped into the president's limousine. Because... Eggman was throwing a temper tantrum because Sonic jumped in and was like, now nah, fuck you, we're gonna find out where the Ark is. And after that, I presume the president was like, oh, well, Sonic says he's got this. I guess fuck you, Eggman. I'm gonna let Sonic kick your ass like he always does. And I think also that's the moment where, like, his name gets cleared, more or less. Like, the president goes, oh, okay, I guess Sonic's still a cool guy. <laughs> <laughs> Probably gives him a pardon, right? But anyway, so Eggman's like, god damn, that's Sonic! Urgh, fucking up my plans! Urgh. Our threats fell on deaf ears. And then they immediately walk out of the room, and Rouge phones them with her report. <laughs> Which is when the president's secretary was like, oh shit, was like, we're receiving a report from our agent, a.k.a. Rouge. She's working under the direct, like, mission, like, uh, chain of command. She's working directly under the president in order to find out who Shadow is. Interesting that that is her mission. It's almost like, and again, this is my little headcanon here, it's almost like after Eggman broke into the military base and freed Shadow... Oh, dead. And freed Shadow, it's almost like the military leaders told the president, and he was like, What the fuck is Shadow? What are you talking about? Oh, it's this top-secret organic weapon. It's so hard to hear what they're saying without subtitles. Shit. But it's this top secret or get bio weapon that was created by Professor. Okay, well, slow the fuck down. I don't know what you're talking about. Tell me what the fuck Shadow is. Uh, it's classified, so we can't tell you. Okay, well, fuck you then. Apparently, whatever Shadow is. How do you back up? I don't think you can. Shit. Shit. I got turned around. God damn it. Ah, there we go. Okay, well, clearly it's something that Eggman wanted. So I'm gonna send our agent to infiltrate Eggman's group and find out information about what the fuck Shadow is. And it just kind of was a convenient coincidence on their part that the Ark happened to have all this information about what Shadow is and Professor Gerald's research. Like, it all kind of coalesced into this perfect storm where the presence like Rouge go find out what Shadow is and what Eggman's plans are. Shadow was like, come to the Ark where I was created so that we can do some evil shit. Which, it being where he was created, would just so happen to also contain all of the uh, research material that talks about his origins. 
so lucky for Rouge, like, all of the info that she was sent to find out is all right there where he told them to meet him up with. Fox boy. Fox boy. Whoa, he's colored weirdly in that scene. Look at how, sh how Tails is colored. That looks so weird. What's with that? So it just so, so happened to turn out that way. And of course, she's being paid in jewels because she's a whore. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. No one cares. And then, of course, who has the seventh Chaos Emerald? Tails. Why does he have it? It was given to him in a ceremony. Hey, thanks for saving the city. Shadow, I love this sage. Spotted at 11 o'clock. Copy that. I'm in pursuit. Yeah! I can keep up with the plane, because I'm awesome. Apparently this is near Pumpkin Hat Hill, where Knuckles had his level. Where I guess they were like, okay, Supersonic saved us from chaos, but there would have been nothing to save if Tails hadn't saved us from Robotnik's crazy missile earlier. And also, everyone saw you face him down mono a mono, like a hardcore badass. That thing that even our military can't do. Our military can't stand up to Eggman, only Sonic can. But you fucking took him the fuck out. So, we're gonna honor you with a ceremony and give you one of the seven Chaos Emeralds. I guess they found it after Super Sonic saved Station Square from Chaos. So like, yeah, go ahead and hang on to this for safekeeping, right? Like, you're a cool guy. You guys like the Chaos Emeralds. The Chaos Emeralds are super cool and powerful. We know you're a safe person to leave this in the hands of. So go ahead and hang on to this. We'll put one in a bank, I guess. <laughs> Like, what happens to the Chaos Emeralds after Sonic goes Super Sonic, right? Where do they go? Do they just go away in all different directions like the Dragon Balls do? Something tells me that that is the case. Oh, okay. Oh, God. Woo! Woo, Nelly! Something tells me that that's the case, and it's just like... It comes down to luck of who finds them first, I guess and where they end up from there. But yeah, so like I said, back in the Sonic Adventure 1 playthrough, it's very important that Tails' validation for his heroic deed was external. He received external recognition and praise for his actions. That was important to his character development. Of course, in this game, his character development is now complete, and he self-actualized as an independent hero in his own right but calling back to that pivotal moment where he stopped being a sidekick and started you know setting himself apart is important especially Doctor, considering what directly his story what leads up to in the conclusion so these last two levels were completely pointless because, like, they were tracking down Tails and be like, we gotta get the Chaos Emerald from him. But it turned out that they were going to Egypt to break into Eggman's base anyway. So those levels that took place in between rough. them going, let's go let's to go, Egypt, baby. and them yeah. being in Egypt. And now, if you remember this scene... Coming. Yeah! Coming. Just leave it to me! So, I don't know if you remember this boss fight. I didn't really get a chance to talk about it, but holy shit, was it easy. I beat it really fast. It was really, really easy. Holy shit. I am the Eggman. That's what I am. So then, this is where the boss fight started for Sonic.
Yeah, that's about as long as it took me to do it in real time when I was playing the stage. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's accurate. That's pretty much what happened. No. Yeah, that's that's a pretty authentic representation of how that boss fight went when I did it as Sonic. <laughs> and it's still pretty fucking easy, all things considered, even as Eggman. You might be like... Well, why didn't Eggman just stop them from using his space rocket to get to the Ark? Well, apparently he was busy fighting this motherfucker after Sonic broke his restraining ball. <coughs> gotcha. Still very, 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 very easy. And we're done. That's it. This boss sucks! <laughs> 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 Holy shit, man. Why even bother? Green light for launch. Primary engine ignition on. <coughs> Make sure you lift off count. <coughs> Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. I don't think it's five, safe to have four, kept the door three, open two, down to the last one. second until launch. Lift off. But whatever. Have you guys ever noticed how many Sonic games end up going to space? <clears throat> when you actually sit down and count how many Sonic games end up in space, it's like almost half of them. Hi, Doctor. How's it going? <clears throat> what? So Shadow was down in Pumpkin you? Hill. That's okay. Rouge was I'll just right like. Myself. She's she Can chased down tails. For the space <coughs> Fuck. Rouge was Tricky like doctor is just too easy. Rouge chased oh, down tails in her car, went back to the arc while Shadow was chasing him on the plane in Pumpkin Hill. And then while they were busting through his base, Eggman was like, Oh, I'm gonna stop you with my golem. Rouge was just chilling back on the arc this whole time. This is it. We yep. Search project Don't worry, I'll find- I'll stop them. Form. Oh shit, now she has all the info. What in the world is this? This can't be right. Just what is Shadow, anyway? Just kind of an inappropriate moment for her theme to start playing. I'll just have to take the last pieces of the Master Emerald. So, she's been holding on to at least three pieces of the Master Emerald this whole time. A bunch of pieces fell out of the shuttle during the flight up, so she's like, Oh, hey! I've technically completed my mission! Detector readings are reversed! Be very careful! I've technically completed my mission, I found out what Shadow's deal is. Time to go get my- Time to go get paid! Time to go steal the last couple pieces of the Master Emerald! <laughs> That's her motivation. Mission accomplished. Okay, bye. Gonna go- like, steal some shit on the way out the door, basically. Steal this shit from Knuckles on the way out the door. And then, I guess, go back down to Earth and get paid by the president, for all intents and purposes. <clears throat> and then, to a degree, she was also like, Whoa, what the fuck is Shadow's deal? I have discovered the truth about what his fucked up situation is. And there's probably a little bit of a connection there since he did save her life after all. But you can never really tell with ambiguous characters like Rouge after all. So this level is even worse in terms of sheer scale compared to Sh Knuckles' last level. Because holy fuck, it's just so big! And you can only track down the emeralds one at a time. It gets really frustrating. But, I haven't really, like, gotten a chance to talk about this, but it does make, if, you, if you've noticed, it does make sense all of the levels. All of the Knuckles, particularly the Knuckles levels, 
have been designed in a way to emphasize the like new expanded and polished style of his gameplay uh, too low because you had the first level which was basically tutorial level then you had pumpkin hill which was designed to emphasize his gliding abilities where it was a big wide open area where you would fly glide from one end to the other and then you had the mine, which was designed to emphasize his swimming abilities. Because if you remember, like, swimming is a new feature in this game that only Knuckles and Rouge, although to a lesser extent, can do. Like, they completely made an entire new method of control <laughs> and mechanical interaction where they can swim around. Because if, like, in all of the ga Sonic games before this, when you jump into the water, you're just, like, you sink like a rock to the very bottom and then have to, like, run around. Now, all of a sudden, Knuckles can swim. Like, really swim, like, dive and ascend back to the surface. So it makes sense, okay, let's make a level based around this new method of interaction and control that we have made special for this game. And to a lesser degree, it's also that way with Rouge's levels as well. But again, I feel you're kind of meant to play the hero side story first. So Rouge's levels are less showing off the new gameplay capabilities that they invented for this game, and more along the lines of kind of putting everything you've learned as Knuckles to the test, so to speak. Like I said, the dark side story is more difficult than the hero side story. So her levels are like, okay, Prove you know what you're doing now. Sort of affairs. Oh, I don't know where it is. The same with Shadow. If it, like if you compare the jungle level that Sonic went through to the jungle level that Shadow went through, Shadow's was more difficult and had a different tone to it. It was like darker. It was raining. The vibe of the Dark Side story is okay. Now, like, close. put everything you've learned to the test. Like, you think you're good at this game? The real Dark Souls start eight starts here. Somewhere around here. Do I have to break this? God damn it. How am I supposed to break this? Maybe fly into it. So Knuckles' levels are designed to teach you and to show off the new style of gameplay they invented for his style of gameplay in this game. Like, they took away the ability to sense all three emeralds at the same time, but they added all this other shit. And then Rouge's levels are, okay, put it to the test. Not too bad, I guess.